It's no surprise that there are a lot of JavaScript frameworks to choose from, but there's a problem for those of us who like to be on the latest, greatest bleeding edge technology. The services and libraries that we like to depend on may not have first class integrations yet. AuthKit is no different. We have a really nicely fleshed out Next.js integration, but no direct integration for my framework of choice, Astro. So today we're kicking off a short series on how to set up AuthKit with any JS framework. In this series, I'll show you how to use the general Node SDK documentation and tailor it to a specific framework, allowing you to use AuthKit with any framework that you like. Now you're the integration hero. Let's get into it. On screen, we have a handful of things set up. We have the AuthKit setup docs, a freshly set up Astro application running at localhost port 4321, and of course, my work OS dashboard. Now, because this is an integration tutorial and not a quick start guide, I've taken the liberty of pre-filling these redirect URIs and adding an env.local with all of our required environment variables. Of course, the first thing that we need to get started is the node SDK, which we can copy and install. The first thing I like to add is a sign-in route. This lets us navigate or redirect users to this route if they're not authenticated. In our Astra application, we'll create a new file in source pages named signin.ts. And finally, add Astro endpoint boilerplate. So we're handling only the get request and returning a generic response with a line of text. A quick note, many frameworks support hybrid rendering strategies. Everything that we set up as part of this auth process needs to be server-side rendered. With our route in place, we can visit that URL, slash sign in and see our successful response. Now that we have our Astro endpoint in place, we need to get an authorization URL using the WorkOS node SDK. We'll start by importing the WorkOS SDK, instantiating it with our WorkOS API key and getting our client ID from our environment variables. Now inside of our endpoint, we will get our authorization URL through WorkOS user management using AuthKit as a provider, providing a redirect URI from our environment variables, and finally passing along our client ID. And to ensure that everything works, we'll copy our authorization URL and pass that in our response. Refreshing our sign-in route, we should see the new generated AuthKit authorization URL. Of course, displaying this URL to users isn't helpful. We want to redirect. And in Astro, we destructure this from the route handler. Refreshing again, we get redirected to our AuthKit sign-in page. Okay, so that part was pretty painless. We now redirect our sign-in URL to our hosted AuthKit page. Next is to create our auth callback URL to handle successful login attempts. So let's log into this application. AuthKit will kick us back to the auth callback URL that we set up as a redirect URI with an authorization token. We need to create this URL and accept that token. So let's create a new page, this time in auth callback. Paste in our endpoint boilerplate again. Refresh to make sure it's in the right place. It is. Then parse our code using the request object that we'll get from our endpoint handler and returning it to make sure that our code is correct. Let's repeat the steps that we took in our other route by importing the work OS SDK, but this time creating a session. We create this session by calling WorkOS user management authenticate with code, providing the authentication token and our client ID. Now, here we want to see what we got. So let's change our response to JSON stringify our session, giving us our full user object. This is great. Okay, so now we have a session and a user object. We'd like to store this inside of a cookie, but do so securely. So we're gonna do that by encrypting the user data. First things first, we will use a new package called Iron Session. Of course, we need to install this, install Iron Session. Now encrypting our session is as easy as calling the async function seal data with our session and the cookie password in our environment. Let's save this and now print out the encrypted session data. Of course, that code is now invalid, so we need to sign in again. With this new login attempt, we see our encrypted session, which is great. Now, all that's left is to place this inside of a cookie. In Astro, we call cookies.set, use the workOS session 
as a title, pass our encrypted session, and provide our options. Cookie, like redirect, is destructured off of our endpoint handler. Let's do our auth flow one more time to find our cookie. We see a new encrypted session, but let's open our application and see if the cookie was properly stored. Go to cookies, localhost 4321, and there it is. With our cookie in place, there's really only one thing left to do, and that's to redirect to a protected route. In this case, I'll create a new route called dashboard. Jump back up to destructure redirect. Okay, now that we have our encrypted session inside of a cookie, we can now authenticate users for protected pages. Let's create our page, this time an actual page called dashboard.astro. Astro files have a JavaScript block followed by the template. So when we save this, we should now see some content on this dashboard route. Great. We can get the contents of our cookie by calling astro.cookies.get work OS session. And if there is not a cookie, redirect to the sign in route. Let's display it in our template. Now, before we re authenticate again, let's um, unseal this session so we can actually see the user object. We import unseal data from Iron Session and then unseal the session using our WorkOS cookie password. Let's see what we get. Sign in. And here we are, our full user object, along with access token and refresh token. Okay, so now we're getting into session management, which is a topic that will escape what we can cover in this video. But we'll set it up now so we can verify our session and then refresh it in the background in our follow-up video. Import the WorkOS node SDK, as well as the library Josie or Jose. I, I'm not sure how you pronounce these library names. Because this is a new dependency, we need to install it and we'll use the create remote JWK set function so that we can request a URL from WorkOS to create and validate JWTs or JavaScript web tokens. With that in place, we can use our session access token to verify that we still have a valid session. And of course, to do that, we need to include our WorkOS object and client ID. And finally, our new response will not just be the session, but the verified session. Let's log in one final time and see how we did. There we go. We have our verified session with one final touch being that we should try this. And if it fails, redirect to our sign in path. Now let's display something helpful in our template, not just our tokens greeting the last name of the user on the session. Okay, so that was a lot of steps, but we covered all of the basics. In our next video, we'll show you how to use those refresh tokens to automatically refresh the session and extract it all away into a library so that we don't have to do this on every single page. If you wanna make sure that you don't miss it, subscribe and enable the notification so you know exactly when we post that video. And don't forget, AuthKit may already have an integration for your framework, so don't forget to check that out in the AuthKit documentation. Thanks for watching. I'm Fantastic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.